What's so incredible about Kyle is long before I ever met him, I'd been hearing about this guy named Kyle. It's like Cher, this single name, no last name. You're kind of famous when you get known by your first name. <laughs> so uh, Kyle is known by his first name, Officer Kyle Moore. He gets out there, he gets amongst them, he rubs elbows, he does the wobble, he eats, he drinks, he cries. Officer Moore is one of the real ones. We really appreciate him and all that he has done. He has done so much work in this community, hard work to make these strong, long-lasting relationships that he has made over these past four years of being the homeless outreach officer. People love him. So when I tell you he talks to them like they're just normal people, it's like you, they, he, he doesn't see homelessness when he sees people. He sees a human being. He sees heart. He sees their, you know, compassion. At any point in time, I can call Kyle and maybe briefly give you the roughest description of a person, and he knows that person off that little description I give and can tell you all kind of things about them just off the top of his head. And I honestly don't know how he does it, but <laughs> he can just tell you anything about somebody that's you know been here four weeks, two months, whatever, and he knows. He's the most incredible police officer working in the world of homeless. And I had a great, great opportunity when I was working in the White House of meeting four or five officers a week. And in, in my prior life, I'd probably met a thousand officers over time that somehow work in the area of homelessness. And nobody is like Kyle. I, I've never seen a person who's like a, a one person show. He's like his own entire agency on wheels. And, and the first day I tried to, we were going to go to eat, had to get in his car. He had like, this is, now this is his day off. We're spending six hours together. And in the front seat, he has 27 folders. Uh, we counted them out and, and they were housing folders. I said, you're a police officer. And he's out doing housing placements, housing forms, uh, reco ID recovery, placement. He's always following up, always checking up. He is the most compassionate person I do know, and it's not because he receives a wonderful paycheck. He's committed to what he does in the community. He's trustworthy, and he's actually genuine, and is gonna keep it 100 with them and say, hey, this is what we can do, this is what we can't do, this is what you need to do to get yourself in a better place, and we don't have no problem helping you, helping you if you're willing to help yourself first. He gives them a step above what it is required just so they would be able to be functioning members of society. And everything he does, he, he always starts from the other person's point of view and then works backwards to where the person needs to sort of either connect with an agency, connect with the program, or, or he, he makes paperwork fun. I mean, he, he, he takes people and he says, we gotta get your paperwork because we gotta get all this done because this is what it's gonna get you. They come back and so, I mean, the the face, the look on the face, the smiles, and they have their little ID or their birth certificate. I mean, it's just awesome to see that you can touch someone with just this little piece of uh, paper or this little card. I was talking to the, per uh, the person who was having a problem, and I said, um, I said, well, listen, I think I may have a solution to your problem. We're gonna do A, B, C, one, two, and three. And the guy was like, well, listen, you don't have the authority to do that. I'm gonna wait till Officer Moore gets here. I said, well, I'm Officer Moore's boss. I'm the chief of police. He goes, you may be the, you may be the, the, the police chief, but I'm gonna wait till Kyle Moore uh, gets back to work and I'll follow up. I said, okay, I understand it. So, and I was like, man, I, this Kyle, Kyle is, is pretty important right here. Kind of outranks the police chief. But that's just the impact that, that he has in the, and we joke about that occasionally. To be in the position that you, he is in, you have to be patient. You have to be kind. He does not do this for the praise whatsoever. He does it because he truly has that compassion for people. He has that compassion for his community. He loves his community. When I tell you he loves Colleen, Texas, he loves Colleen, Texas.